Evening guys, um, sorry I haven't been in touch for a few days, I haven't been too good, uh, pretty much bed bound for most of the time. Um, I hope everyone's okay and I do apologise for not doing this sooner. Um, I'd just like to touch base with you, I think the last time we spoke was that I just had deep brain stimulation. Um, my infection has nothing to do with that. I just got swollen glands and a bit of an issue. Um, but just so you know that I went into hospital on the 24th of July um, and was pretty much walking around the next day. Um, and then I was up and about very quickly. Um, but then kind of tiredness and everything's kicked in. So you see the bags under my eyes and looking very tired and grey hairs have actually started to appear which I'm not too chuffed about but there you go that's that's 43 for you um anyone who's thinking about having deep brain stimulation I say go for it because it hasn't done me any harm um I'm still a lefty which I call myself and I'm sure you all have names for yourselves too but um I'm not switched on yet. I get switched on this coming Tuesday, um, the 21st. So I expect to see some instant responses to hand cramps, leg cramps, things like that, um, blinking, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the neck will take some time and some fine tuning to go. So, um, But just so you know, I've got um, a scar here, which that's where the stimulator is, and it's pretty cool. I've got two there and one at the back I don't know if you can see because I can't see the screen and then the cables run here and they go down into the stimulator um, the last few days has been quite weird I didn't really feel much at first apart from if you lean your head back you can feel the cables there um, but the last few days have been weird because every time I stretch you can feel you can feel it and sometimes it feels like a vibrating phone kind of go do, 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 do. sorry if you can hear that weird noise that's my little dog Archie come on um so I just wanted to just put it out there that I've 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 gone through that and the reason I've, I, I decided to go through DBS was um because I was told by my neurologist if after two years of Botox yeah, I'm not getting any improvement then I would end up in a wheelchair. So I took that as word. Um, and then I referred myself to a wonderful hospital in London who's helped me so much. And my friend Jill, hi Jill, again, um, is having the same procedure. And um, when I went to see this particular doctor, professor, she was fabulous. And she gave me a different dosage, and I did see a difference. Um, but she thought I was a great candidate for it. The one thing I will say about having becoming a deep brain stimulation um, candidate and to be perfect for it is not to get depressed, not to let anxiety get the better of you, not to... Um, Listen to the GPs that put you on antidepressants and all that kind of stuff because um, I believe that the whole, when I went for my whole day assessment and after researching so much that that's the reason people are rejected if you are suffering from major depression. So although it's really hard with dystonia to not get depressed or have anxiety, just a tip, just pull yourself together and just try and be strong on the day to get that procedure done many of you out there will disagree with what i'm saying and disagree with um uh, dbs altogether but i firmly believe this is my last chance of having a fruitful and fun life and if this works then boom ting i'm gonna make sure we have a massive party and i'm gonna invite all of you all of the, every single person every single person that's following me i will make sure that happens because I, for me, this is the last chance saloon of living a normal life. And I hope it does work. And I, I'm very confident, very confident. 
So um, that's my update, and I'm so so sorry that I haven't been in touch, but um, I'm getting I get a little bit better. Well, one day I'm not, one day I am. So um, and a few things to deal with. So um, I will be in touch tomorrow and give you another update on how I feel and. Definitely lights on party, um, I've called it, so early Christmas lights on, uh, big switch on, so um, fingers crossed me and Jill can celebrate together at Christmas and be cool and hopefully many of you too, alright, love you lots, peace out.